What's up family? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another Juicy Fat video. As you guys can see by the title, today I'm switching it up and saving y'all some money. Round of applause. Round of applause. About time, Nicole, okay? Um, but yes, I wanna give you guys some products that you guys just need to stop buying, okay? Some self-care and beauty products that are just a waste of money, a waste of time, and you need to stop buying. I'm not even gonna lie, it was so hard to narrow down some stuff that you guys need to stop buying because when I tell you I love everything, I love everything, okay? I do not be lying in my videos when I say I like everything because I really do. I have a problem, okay? I have a problem. Do they have rehab for shopaholics? Self-care shopaholics? Cause I think I need to go. But yeah, so like I say, I had a hard time trying to narrow down things you guys do not need, but I think I found six items, self-care beauty items that you need to stay away from cause they really are a waste of money and just like a waste of time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so tip number one on a self-care and beauty product that you just need to stop wasting your money on is celebrity products, okay? Let me clarify something really quick, all right? I am not saying in any of these six items that I give you guys to stop buying them completely, like celebrity products. I'm just saying cut down on them because every day it seems like a new celebrity comes out with a different product. Like, it is crazy now. Like, everybody saw that Rihanna blew up and became a billionaire and all the celebrities are trying to hop on a wave, okay? I am definitely not running to the the store every time a celebrity comes out with a product or not pulling out my credit card to buy it okay because it's just too much and it could just be so overwhelming all right like I don't know why even beauty brands are just coming out with just different things every single week like to be honest I've never seen a, such a fast turnaround on just brands and just celebrities coming out with products like it is insane and I feel like if you are running and clearing your pocketbook in your pockets to buy every single celebrity product girl you are going to go broke okay do not give these celebrities this favoritism that you're only buying the product because you love them. No, make sure the product is good and it works for your skin so you're not just wasting your money because you like the celebrity, okay? Like, that is one thing I'm really big on. Like, I love celebrities, okay? Like, I am a celebrity person, but I'm not just gonna go buy your products just because I like you as a celebrity, okay? I have to make sure I like the product for me to really recommend it. And you guys know the products that I truly do recommend, like Skims, Fenty. I love Ashley Tisdale's line, Frenchie, I believe that's how you pronounce it, from Target. She has really good body products, okay? And a couple more, but like I said, I do not run to go empty my pockets for these celebrities, okay? I have to like the product. So just make sure you keep that in mind. Chill with the celebrity products and make sure you actually like the product. You're not just buying it because you like them. Okay, so the second tip I have for you guys of self-care and beauty items that you need to stop wasting your money on like today is luxury skincare and makeup. Stop it, okay? You are literally just paying for the name. I will never forget one time I walked into Chanel's skincare and makeup store and I literally bought a toner and a moisturizer for $200 that did absolutely nothing for my skin. Okay, that's how I felt. I was so pissed, okay? Like I said, you're literally just paying for the name. The only brand that I know that is actually like really good is Dior's makeup, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I love Dior's lip oils, lip glosses, and their blushes, and their foundation is pretty good too. That is the only luxury brand that I've tried when it comes to like their makeup that actually like does a good job, okay? I will never again buy luxury skincare and makeup. I will only buy what they're known for, which is their bags, clothes, and shoes, okay? I don't know why they're trying to sneak into the cracks and sell this stuff now, but just stick to what they know because the luxury skincare and makeup is overpriced and it usually is not that good. So that is my second tip on what to stay away from and stop wasting your money on. The third product that I want you to stop buying your money on might be a little controversial because when I tell you everyone and their mother had this product when this product came out, everyone and their mother had it, okay? Like I am so easily influenced and now I regret it because I wasted my money on it, all right? Stay away from the Dyson and the Shark air wraps, okay? I actually showed the device before on my channel before. I think it was like a beauty maintenance video. I have the shark air wrap device where you can literally like wrap your hair around the wand and it'll automatically like curl your hair for you and it's supposed to be like heatless and healthy and like new technology. Um, mm -mm. There's nothing wrong with the curling part. Like there's nothing wrong with the air wraps. It does a really good job of like curling your hair, but I don't like the other attachments that come with it. Like the blow drying bristles and brushes that come with it. I do not think they are sufficient or good for people with textured hair like me. Like my hair is a little kinky 
kinky, curly, and I just don't feel like the blow drying brushes and bristles get my hair straight as my other just regular blow dryer does. So no, I did not pay the $500 Dyson. I've never tried like the flat irons or nothing from the Dyson. I don't have the Dyson, I have the Shark. The Shark is actually cheaper, it's 350. But I am warning you, like I said, I'm not saying don't get it. I am warning you though that, you know, if you have like textured hair or kinky, curly textured hair, it might not be a good fit, okay? And I wish I would've knew that before I paid $350 for that thing, okay? Now I have all of these products from Shark and I don't use them. So yeah, that's just my advice. Take it as you will. My next tip is chill on the supplements, okay? Chill, chill, girl, chill, all right? Chill on the supplements. Supp supplements, supplements, supplements. What was I just about to say? Just like every celebrity is coming out with a new body or makeup or skincare brand, they also are coming out with supplements like f***ing crazy, okay? Like, I know this is a new age and a new generation now and everybody like wants to be healthier and is concerned about their health. But like I said, it's too many supplements now. It's just too f***ing many, I can't keep up anymore. There are some supplements that I really do like and I recommend. I love any type of like vaginal supplements. Happy V and Lemmy have some really good vaginal prebiotic supplements and stuff like that. I love also using prebiotic supplements for like gut health and things, but it just can get overwhelming. And there is research to say that supplements, you know, only like subdue the problem, they don't cure it, okay? So do not go buy a supplement thinking you're cured from BV or yeast infections because you know you're taking your supplements every day. No babe, go to the doctor, okay? That supplement is not gonna cure that BV. Don't make me say it again, okay? It's just to prevent it. It's just to keep the balance healthy. Do not get carried away with these supplements because like I said, every time I look around, there's a new celebrity pushing a supplement or there's a new supplement on the market. I just think there are ways and I try my best to only buy supplements that I do like, which is ones for gut health and vaginal health. Those are the only supplements I'll buy, but do not go supplement f***ing crazy. It's a waste of money, all right? I'm telling you, I'm trying to help. You better listen. Okay, so the fifth tip is crazy controversial, okay? Like, I am so sorry for saying this, but it's the truth. Chill out with all these lip pencils. How many times you need a brown one? I want you to go in your makeup drawer right now and tell me how many brown lip pencils you have. Why do you need so many of the same shade of a different brand lip pencil? What's the point? Just get one brown lip pencil. Just get one nude lip pencil, okay? You don't need everyone and their mother's lip pencils. Come on now. I'm not saying don't buy them. I'm not a really huge fan of lip pencils, surprisingly. I am of lip gloss, but I've never been crazy about lip pencils. But I know some girls, or I, sometimes I see some videos of just women just having galore, I mean good lore, lip pencil options of the same shades. And it's just like, okay, when is enough enough, okay? Enough is enough. Chill on the lip pencils, okay? Chill. You only need one of each color. Only need one, all right? Calm it down, all right? That is one thing I'm gonna say stop wasting your money on. Stop wasting your money on buying every brand's lip pencil, okay? Trust me, they're all the same. It's the same brown. It's the same brown. The last tip that I want you to stop wasting your money on might shock you because I talk about this item all the time, which is body scrubs. I am not saying don't buy them anymore, but a lot of body washes now have like exfoliator properties or ingredients in them that you don't really need a body scrub, okay? Let's under consumption, under consume all the products in your shower because you know, it can get hectic. I used to have so many products in my shower caddy, it was crazy, like it was insane. So I really stopped investing in so many body scrubs. I think I have like two in my shower right now that I go back and forth with. But if you already use like an exfoliating hand wash or loofah or the African net sponge that I always recommend for you guys to get if you want to exfoliate your body. If you're already exfoliating your body with like some type of washcloth, you don't need a body scrub. And like I said, a lot of these body washes are already having you know, AHA, BHA, or just scrub ingredients in them anyway that you do not need to go back and put on a body scrub. That's just over exfoliating your body. And that is something you do not want to do that would dry out your skin and also harm it. So I say calm down with the body scrubs. Like I'm always seeing new body scrubs and I think it is freaking insane when I see girls on TikTok or just people on TikTok and they have 25 different body scrubs. What is going on? Girl, are you that dirty? What is going on? Why do you have so many body scrubs? Stop it, okay? Stop, all right? 
yeah, if you want to cut down on just like your self-care items that you buy, try to invest in body washes that not only like that just smell good and invest in some that also exfoliate the skin at the same time to help you cut down on the expenses of like your body care routine. So that is a wrap today with all of my recommendations of just self-care and beauty items that you should probably stop wasting your money on. Like I said, this was very hard to do because I love everything. Okay, so let me know in the comments of other things that you guys have stopped wasting your money on when it comes to self-care and beauty items. And let me know if you guys agree with me on any of the six items that I recommend you stop buying and let me know if you stop buying them too. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.